Arrow and Officer Mike, Police Partners, by Joan Plummer Russell. Photographs by Chris Turner Seinenberg. This is informational text. An informational text gives facts and information about a specific topic. So as I'm reading, we can look for headings that tell about the content of each section. We can look for photographs and we can look for clues that tell how the author feels about this topic. Let's begin. It is very early in the morning. Everyone in the house is still asleep. A large black and tan German shepherd is lying on the floor by Officer Mike's bed. The alarm rings. Officer Mike reaches down to pet his dog, Arrow. Arrow is a police dog, also known as a canine officer. When Officer Mike puts on his uniform with a silver badge on his chest, Arrow jumps up, ready to have his wide black leather collar with a police badge on it slipped over his head. He knows this will be a work day. Work and play. Officer Mike and Arrow are partners. They work together. They practice together. They play together. Arrow, with his powerful nose, can do many things Officer Mike cannot. He can sniff and find lost children. He can sniff and find lost things. Police dogs are very strong and well-trained. They have to be ready to go anywhere they are needed. They can be very fierce when they are helping to catch criminals. They can run faster than any human being. But when police dogs are not working, they are gentle pets that like to have their tummies scratched. Arrow's most important jobs are to help and to protect his partner, Officer Mike. Together, Arrow and Officer Mike patrol in all kinds of weather. Some weeks as they patrol from early morning until dinner time. Some weeks they sleep in the daytime and work all night. On duty. Arrow is always eager to jump into the back of the police car. Officer Mike's car is different from the other police cars. There is no back seat. The floor is flat and covered with carpet for Arrow to lie on. There is a water bowl built into the floor and a small fan keeps Arrow cool in the summer. Screens cover the windows so no one can reach in and pet him. When Arrow is on duty, He's not allowed to play. Officer Mike sits in the driver's seat, but Arrow will not let anyone else sit in, in the front until Officer Mike tells Arrow it's okay. Arrow knows that one of his jobs is to protect the police car. When Officer Mike leaves the car, he either opens the front window for Arrow to jump through or uses a remote control to open the back door when he needs Arrow's help. Time for a break. When Arrow and Officer Mike have been in the police car for a few hours, Arrow will need to take a break. Arrow pushes his head against his partner's head to let him know. Officer Mike parks the cruiser as soon as he can and says to Arrow, go be a dog. Arrow knows he'll also have time to explore a little and maybe chase a tennis ball while they are stopped. Signals and commands. Officer Mike can talk to Arrow in different ways. One way is to use hand and arm signals. When Mike's hand is outstretched, it means stay. When Mike's arm is raised, it means sit. When his hand is flat, it means down. Arrow is very loyal to Officer Mike and wants to obey him. He likes to hear the words, good dog. He tries to please his partner all the time. Arrow can understand short commands like find him or stop him and no barking. Arrow can also understand some commands in Czech, the language spoken where he was born and where he began his training as a police dog. Canine training. Arrow's training never ends. Several times a month, Arrow and Officer Mike train with the other officers and their canine partners. 
One exercise the police dogs do is to run through an obstacle course. The dogs practice getting over, under, around, and through difficult spots. Arrow had to learn how to walk up and down very steep open stairs. He also had to learn to walk over a large open grating, the kind you often see on city streets. At first, he spread his paws to help keep him balanced. His legs began to quiver, so he whined a frightened cry. He had to practice over and over. Officer Mike kept saying, good boy, you can do it. Arrow was brave and trusted his partner, but he still does not like open gratings or steep stairs. Arrow's sense of smell. Canines have very powerful noses hundreds of times more powerful than human noses. That's why one of Arrow's most helpful talents on the police force is his ability to find things by smell. When children play hide and seek, they may think they are well hidden. Their dog can find them right away. The same is true when a child is lost or wanders away from home. Arrow can find the child by using his sense of smell. Each person has a scent that is different from everyone else's scent. Even twins do not smell the same. A person's unique smell comes from the food he or she eats, the soap and shampoo he or she uses, the clothes he or she wears, and the place he or she lives. At the vets. Arrow goes to Dr. Morse, a veterinarian, for regular checkups. Arrow must lie still on a table while the doctor examines him. Once, Arrow had a small infection on his neck. Dr. Morse gave him some medicine so he would get better. But a police dog works so hard and has such an important job, he needs to be healthy. At the end of the checkup, Dr. Morse lifts Arrow to the floor, pets him, and says, Good dog. Visiting in the Community Nurses and teachers often write to the chief of police to ask if Arrow can visit children in the hospital or school. Arrow likes children and is always gentle with them. He is even gentler when visiting a sick child. He lies down, staying very still and quiet so the child won't be afraid of him. When Officer Mike and Arrow visit schools, Arrow rests on the floor beside Officer Mike. Together, They demonstrate the different commands Arrow will obey. The children ask many questions. Why is there a police badge on Arrow's collar? How high can Arrow jump? How fast can Arrow run? Officer Mike carefully answers the questions. Arrow's badge shows everyone that he is a working police dog. He can jump over an eight foot wall when he is chasing a criminal. He can run very fast, about 40 miles an hour. Even the fastest person can only run about 24 miles an hour. Petting Arrow. Children often want to pet Arrow. Officer Mike tells them the rules. Never try to pet a strange dog until you ask permission from the owner. Never come up behind Arrow. He might get frightened and snap at you. Never ever hug a canine around the neck. Walk up to a police dog slowly from the front so he can see you. Let him sniff your hands. Pet his head and ears gently. Talk to him softly. Back at the station. At the end of a 12-hour work shift, there is always a final job to be done at the police station. After talking with his friends on the force, Officer Mike sits down and writes a report for the police chief about the whole day or night. Arrow lies down by Officer Mike's chair. Fellow officers, after the report is written, Officer Mike and Arrow go home together. When Officer Mike goes to bed, Arrow will plop down on the floor near the bed. He lays his head on his paws and with a sigh, goes to sleep near his best friend. Neither of them knows what surprises tomorrow's patrol will bring, 
but they are well prepared. They both love being police officers.